The road to revitalization in Birmingham is underway. With funding firmly in place, counselors plan to stand true to their promise of better days ahead. So maybe urban gardens and things like that. The way that, uh, that we operate as a council is we're, we're thoughtful, methodical, and decisive. And that's what we have to do. That's the type of leaders that this city needs and that is the type of leadership that we will continue to provide this city as we move forward. I learned a lot about the budget process that I wasn't familiar with, so that was helpful and it was nice to see a good turnout. The Birmingham City Council's policy of full transparency led to these four post-budget tours. President Jonathan Austin and other councilors told how the new budget will be allocated throughout each community. Residents say the initial budget tours and follow-up meetings are just as unprecedented as the $6.5 million put towards abandoned property demolition and weed abatement. I think it could be a key point of progress in Birmingham because once we're able to uh, get properties cleared in a rapid fashion like we want to, it'll ha open the door to uh, removing a lot of blight. These latest tours brought out hundreds of residents from each district. It's very necessary. I'm so glad to see this turnout. The attendance at this meeting, I think it's very necessary. I think the city council needs to know what the individuals are thinking. And that's what I'm trying to get out of it, is that making sure that the city council is willing to continue to fund um, the 6.5 million or whatever it takes for our neighborhoods. And that's what I want to see, like I asked the question, what are you all willing as a council to do as a whole to continue to make sure that our neighborhoods are, you know, continually fund. Birmingham City Councilors have been adamant since the budget process began about putting the funding and tools in place to revitalize our city neighborhoods and bring life back into the communities. The budget includes $3.5 million for weed abatement and $3 million for property demolition, with a 3% cost of living adjustment raise for all city employees to assist with increased insurance rates. The general feeling has been through the, the, the budget process and, and even the post-budget tours uh, has been very welcome, very re well received. They've had a lot of questions and we've had an opportunity to really engage with our community. We will continue to do it and, and apparently people like it, they don't want to leave. Council members agree the road to revitalization is clear and they're looking forward to providing residents with updates along the way as various projects are complete. For all the latest news and information, connect with our community or visit our website and subscribe to news updates.